being an entrepreneur is probably one of the most hardest things, but the best reward once you get to a spot in life that you feel comfortable in. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's it's pretty much a roller coaster, bro. This can, it can go up or down. I've been an entrepreneur for almost 20 years now. Like self-employed, 10, 11 years now. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, it's up and down roller coaster. But all my money, I take all my money and I invest. That's what's really keeping me afloat these days. You get what I'm saying? Especially with inflation right now in America, it's not looking so good for a lot of us. You get what I'm saying? So the best thing I ever could do was move out the country. You get what I'm saying? Like move out the country. Go to a whole another country. So I'm in Dominican Republic right now. And you know, I'm doing a lot of vlog work. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing a lot of video work. I'm still doing music videos. I'm still doing my self-employed work. You know what I'm saying? I'm still doing my self-employed work. Like I said, it's not hard, but it ain't easy either. But it's freedom. It's actually like, but it's freedom. It's actually freedom. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get to do what I want, go what I want, sleep when I want, eat when I want, when I want. I can do anything when I want. That became a thing after working all these years. I didn't put all that work in just to go and work for the next man. You know what I'm saying? Like. I'm not finna sit there and listen to somebody yelling my ear 24 seven, like you should do this and you should do that. And like, bro, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you're not my parents, bro. Like what the hell? I don't even listen to them. You know what I'm saying? It's the best thing I ever could do, bro. Start your own business. And like I said, in these times, it was the best thing I ever could do. I went through a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of ups and downs. Like I say, rough patches. When I mean rough patches, I mean some rough patches, like some rough times, bro. Like, God damn. Just thinking about them goddamn times. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not the best position that I could be in. I could be way, way more higher than what I am. But, you know, it comes, like I said, it still comes with time. Sacrifices and things you got to do. You know, you just got to do what you got to do. I'd rather do this, like I said, than having somebody over my goddamn head 24-7 trying to tell me where to go and what to do and how to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like... Mm-mm. I can't, I can't, I, I, I just can't do that. Overhead low in Dominicana. I ain't got, you know what I'm saying? The food is low in Dominicana. You know what I'm saying? The housing is low in Dominicana. You know what I'm saying? The is low in Dominicana. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really got to speak too much on that. Why are you running? Y'all know what's going on by now. You know what I'm saying? But work for yourself, bro. That's the best thing I ever could have did, bro. It's times where you get. You can make seven grand, eight grand in a month. And then there's times where you probably make zero in a month. And these times, you really just gotta say, you really gotta hustle. Not a lot of good paying jobs these days. Everything's so sky high now. It's just like being paying minimum wage. You know what I'm saying? And like, like I say, being an entrepreneur, breaking for yourself, self employed, it's more like it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be a hard journey at first. But once you get to a place of where you can hold your own, that's when you can really like. See the fruits of your labor, bro. Everything will start growing for you. You know what I'm saying? Everything will start growing for you, bro. That's the best thing ever. You know what I'm saying? Go for it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Do your thing, man. Be free. You know what I'm saying? Fly. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing about being an entrepreneur. You never know what's the ne- you never know what's coming next. You know what I'm saying? And that's the excitement of being an entrepreneur. You never know what's coming next. Nobody will see your drive, bro. Nobody see, nobody see what you want to do. Nobody see where you want to go. Everybody going to be dictating what you want to do. You should do this. You should do that. Like, bro, nobody going to see what you see when you've been an entrepreneur. You got to do you. You know what I'm saying? Don't listen to nobody. Everybody going to tell you go this way, go that way. Don't do this. You this. You that. Everybody going to be calling you this and that and try to put labels on you, bro. Don't listen to none of them people, bro. Nobody know exactly what you're gonna do and what you're gonna be bro you're gonna be on this side one day and the next thing you know you're gonna be on this side of the journey one day and then everybody that was on this side of the journey then that's gonna talk down on you say everything you said everything they can say in the goddamn book about you call you every name in the book they're gonna try to be on that other side with you but you're gonna guess what it's too goddamn late too late you know what i'm saying you gotta forget them people you know what i mean because guess what they forgot you in the beginning so long you ain't gotta remember them in the end. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. Entrepreneurship is gonna show you everybody that was everybody that's entrepreneurship gonna show you everybody that's with you, and it's gonna show you everybody that's against you. 
You know what I'm saying? And when you win, you end up winning in the end. Remember that. Write it down. Take a picture. You know what I'm saying? And don't give up. Remember that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, even with the music video, bro, I remember mean, nobody first. Nobody ever believed me, bro. I mean, the first time I gave a card to my music video, bro. And man, they man threw it on the ground, bro. I was like, God damn, nigga threw my car. I walked back. I was in the club getting man in my, in my I gave this man my goddamn car. You know what I'm saying? A dude I know, I gave him a car. You know what I'm saying? But threw it on the ground. I walked back, I see it on the ground. I'm like, God damn, this how entrepreneurship do you? A few years later, I'm like one of the biggest directors in Florida. Same people that didn't want my car, ask for videos now. And wanted at a low price. How dare you? How dare you? You know what I'm saying? Like, bruh, you watch your goddamn mind. But like I said, nobody gonna believe you in the beginning. You're gonna lose a lot of friends. You're gonna lose a lot of people. You're gonna have to sacrifice a lot. But you just gotta keep going, bro. Ain't nothing else to do. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'd rather do this than be on somebody else's goddamn time clock. You know what I'm saying? To be on, I'd rather be doing this than be on somebody else's time clock. It's not happening. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's wasting time. Time I could be putting into myself, investing into myself. You know what I'm saying? It might take a little longer, but in the end, it's the journey. Like, I had fun. I've been having fun. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I don't know, like I said, I'm not on the clock. I'm not on the clock. Boring, count, counting goddamn sheep. You know what I'm saying? Counting sheep. I'm not on the clock counting sheep. I, I thank God for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here counting goddamn cheeks. You know what I mean? But that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother story. But yeah, man, being an entrepreneur, you know what I'm saying? One of the best things ever. If you want to do it, go for it.